Hi everyone from uh, Encino One and uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, just about this plane a newly built, I've done a couple flights already and I see the, the pro and the con about this plane so for the beginner it will be nice to catch this video, it will help you if you want to build this uh, air wing 900 millimeter so let's go for the tips it will help you a lot if you want to build this plane I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to be very quick and give you all the explanation you need if you try to build this plane. It's quite big, it looks like, but it's nice, I like it. If I would suggest to buy this plane, go on, it's the, the good one. There are some things you need to know about this plane, because I've built and I found a few things is better you know before you build, so it will help you. Is the reason why I do this video is only to help other people get in the in the hobby. Okay, the first thing, the winglet, the one here. Before you screw on, put the glue and leave it on. Don't try to take off and put on because you may wanna change your location and put to the box. You can still put to the box if you want, and uh, you can modify the box with a cello tape, and you can fit both of the wings. And the middle section because it's easy to to cut enough in a way oh, I have only my leg <laughs> okay I try to remove open in the middle so we go inside there are a few screw on the side so just screw it will come off disconnect the cable and uh, gonna be easy peasy job okay another tips uh, the receiver didn't put inside because Let's say it will cut off very early with the fail safe. So I put on the wings, it's just on the back here. It's a nine channel. You cannot see because there is plenty of cello tape and uh, a protector on the top. But I remove the original case and I put the wings one come forward outside, another one come down inside. The reason for that, when you bunk angle the plane, it will catch up the you transmit them pretty well. Okay, another tips. Let's go for the tips. Um, the aileron is a very weak. I suggest to put some cello tape and something on the bottom as well if you want. It will help. I don't find any strength on this uh, aileron joint. So it's one of the weaknesses of this plane. Um, I wish they would done something better for that. But it's okay. Now. Let's go for another tips I will give you. This is a normal 2200. Go just nearby, closer to the screw. I will bring it to the light so you can see more clear. That's the CG to put the battery like this. Okay. This is a tip, it will help you. You see the, the knob where you're supposed to screw? Look at my 2200 where it is. That's the point for ECG if you do a normal setup as I did. Usually, if you put a flight controller and PDB on the bottom, I use Eagle 3, Eagle 3 Vector and Matic um, PDB. I'm using the stock inside as a servo motor propeller. And the ESC, if you see, I put in the cave. There is a large cave I locked inside with a bit, if you see a bit of a polyester done in shape with velcro and stuck on the top and then on top of here on the front I use the Mobius camera and the normal Fox here on the top so this is the CG if you fly with a flight controller it's a normal setup you usually want to fly a bit farther than 500 meter you need a flight controller otherwise you're gonna lose the sight of the plane you cannot go far than far I don't believe you reach 500 meter, so probably you're gonna use a flight controller. INAV, whatever Ardu pilot, Eagle 3 Vector, whatever you plan to use it. The best location is the one, whatever I found, so you have plenty of space to locate the OCG and put the battery, if you change the battery. The 22 one, if you put a GoPro or Run Cam S on the front here, uh, it's around the 50 grams. More or less the battery location still the same. Or GoPro, 
me I use the mobius on the front is the reason why I done a little, a little bit extension on the front and then lock in okay now the battery location is there but it will give you 10 minutes flight if you want to go a bit more far you can use 250 1500 and you put in the location you still get the CG right you put the cable on the middle with a special connect to connect the both of a battery it still give you at the same CG if you want to get more time usually with the battery you should get 10 minutes 9 to 10 minutes no more than that unless you want to get we go for that later on I will explain later on let's go for the CG we explain later on okay now another tips it will help you to figure out the CG here we are let's put this on here like this okay there is two pumps if you see the CG the bumps are here another one is the other side okay my CG the way it's set up I've been seen before I'll show you already where I put the button CG mark is a just one centimeter on the back for both of the wings so you need to put the finger just back one centimeter that's the CG if you do my normal setup and then put the normal plastic on the bottom here it's not really heavy it's very light and the propeller you see on the top over there the original one okay CG so you know already I put the battery here yeah so you know a normal CG what it's gonna be set up here with the velcro and the Mobius or GoPro or Runcam S3 on the top here should be around 50 grams so CG should be there battery if you wanna put this one the 1.5 put 2 and try to put a little bit back you, sh you should hit the CG pretty much okay now let's go for the <laughs> let's see the worst things <laughs> okay if you use your normal setup from the company sonic model you put the motor and the propeller then you need to know a bit more okay it is very quiet if you push half throttle to the way down up or down the motor is really quiet with the sound the sound of the propeller will give no matter if you have half throttle or full throttle doesn't make that much noise something beautiful about the propeller and they have a, a big pitch if you notice it here okay there is another good thing about this propeller they are pretty short if we know it to the finger if you plan to grab from the bottom here and then launch my suggest always grab from here if you have no good experience but and then have a big toss in the air you can do like this and push make sure you don't hit the finger on the bottom over there I usually grab on the bottom the propeller they are very short and one more thing I do I lift all my arm all the way up and then before when I release it I pull all the ends down don't watch the plane I bring with me because I cannot launch but as soon as I lift up automatically just I put a little bit to pitch up like this make it make sure all your ends go down very fast you should not hit the propeller they are pretty short I don't give a full power when you toss in the sky my biggest suggest go for 40 percent is more than enough then as soon as you launch 30 to 40 percent then push up all the throttle to 60 70 percent now let's go for efficiency of this plane this is another things you need to know this plane it can fly at 40 percent let's bring here the my transmitter so it will help you a little bit another things you need to know okay I'm gonna bring a bit of light more okay this one at 40 percent fly really good it is real efficiency the best efficiency is between four three to three point seven four amps that's the best efficiency you can get 
anything go above he give uh, to 50 percent he give a good speed but that's it will go already eight amps to ten amps that kind of a propeller and that kind of a motor from uh, sony model after that if you go all the way up with the same setup original setup is a waste of power you can see improvement to run more faster but in the same time with a lot of energy that kind of propeller and a combination with that motor so i've been using one of this one and then another electronics to see how much push forward the motor and uh, a bit disappointed about that combination so after 60 percent it's all waste up you can use 60 if you find the, a bit of wind but it's already waste 10 amps and uh, i don't see any improvement on speed it's a very little improvement especially if there is wind so if you want to get a good flight even 12 minutes 13 minutes a 40 percent if you use fpv it's more than enough it keep on the sky pretty nice and give a discrete speed it can go 50 55 kilometer per hour it's more than enough if you want to fly fpv have a fun sometimes if you want you can give some push up of course you will i do as well but remember the good speed is a 40 percent 35 to 40 percent is the best efficiency from this propeller and motor that's keep in your mind uh I will recommend one of this one. It will help you. It's very cheap without buying any other electronic to check the speed and the push, the power from motor. This will tell you the good way of the propeller if you waste energy. This is one thing everyone can buy without buying any other electronics. I have something else to check how much push forward the motor, how much thrust give, and uh, it's good to know if you don't want to buy so many electronics this will help you it's a gt power but there is so many other they are very cheap and they help you to find out how much amps use the motor with that kind of a propeller and then of course you test the flag when you fly you can test without any other electronic test the speed up and down do by yourself but i use other electronic to search for the push up forward and uh, believe me uh, it doesn't give enough speed compared to the waste of power you use think about a full throttle use nearly 20 amps between 17 to 18 to 19 amps depends how much is stronger the wind so i don't see any improvement of uh, speed so it's all waste of power is my strong light device i will give it to you so i'll stop it here i don't want to make the video too long it's a wonderful plane if you want you can search for different propeller but remember the longer propeller maybe give some more efficiency but when you launch it's a bit pain in the ass um, if you use i have as built you can use auto launch just grab it here and do overhead so you put like uh, seven seconds so you have a plenty of time to catch up your your transmitter from the floor wherever you left and uh, the plane is start to climb slowly and take your time to do whatever you plan to do okay i stop you here the video i hope this video will help someone else over there um another things i forgot to do to say this plane is uh, i capable to use 4s lithium battery for here for here and give a plenty of flight time we test already it give a good 20 minutes flight over 20 minutes depend how much <laughs> you do up with the throttle you can go even 25 minutes it depends the lithium battery you're gonna buy the pack you're gonna put on here you can still eat the cg bus is enough you push a little bit back and uh, I would suggest you use um, a split camera on the front and definitely hit the CG proper, the proper way. Uh, you have no worry about. Okay, I'll stop here. I don't want to make the video for too long. And uh, 
Hope you like the video. It will help you to build this one. And see you for next video. Thumbs up from Mencina One. Bye bye.